Hello. Hello. I'm Johnny. I'm Nyla. The hair guard clown. The this is my sidekick. Nyla. Nyla. Ha ha ha. May. Nyla the clown. Ha 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 ha. So today, guess what we're going to make? What are we going to make? Products. We're going to show you guys how to make your own natural skin care products. Yes. And bath bombs. We're not making bath bombs today. <laughs> we're not making bath bombs today. I'm going to teach you guys how to make your own do-it-yourself moisturizing cream. For the winter. Hey, you're making my... You're making my... Okay. Now, <laughs> you're getting out of this video. You got to go work. Get them to clean your nose. Okay. Get out of here. Bye. Tell them bye. Bye. Tell them bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hello. That's so weird. Today, I'm going to show you got What the hell? <laughs> hey, Lori. Hey, Cassie. Hey, Jocelyn. Hey, Denise. Hey, Naisha. Hey, Trina. Hey, hey, hey. Hi, Naisha. Hey, okay, guys. Today, we're making our own. Well, this is what it's going to look like in the end. Can you guys see that? That looks mushy, though. But that all the way mushy. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do this very fast because my battery's low. I don't got all day. So, number one, you're going to need a bowl. Yes, this bowl looks a little dirty because I was already mixing stuff this morning, okay? So, wait, let's put this aside. Let me show you what I'm using. Virgin Organic Unrefined Shea Butter. If your products are virgin and organic, then you know that they're good. Okay, this is what this looks like. This is virgin, unrefined, organic shea butter. Okay, back up, back away. You want to take some of this virgin butter. And we're going to put this virgin butter. We got our little spatula thing here. I'm going to put this butter. It's shea butter. It's virgin organic shea butter. And we're going to put this in our bowl. You said butter. Can you guys see that? No. <laughs> okay. Technical. Technical. Technical difficulty. Okay. So we put the shea butter in the bowl. <sighs> yeah. We put the shea. Uh. Okay. That's enough shea butter in the bowl. Then we close this shea butter back up. Uh, uh. Okay, now if you're making this for yourself at home, you don't have to wear gloves. But if you're making this for other people, wear gloves. Don't be nasty, okay? So now we have shea butter in our bowl. Now, we need something to soften this shea butter with. And we need some... Something to make our skin have vitamins and minerals and enrich us for the winter season. So, the next thing I put into my do-it-yourself winter, whatever you want to call this, is aloe vera liquid. This is one time strong aloe vera liquid. See the one X, one times, one times aloe vera liquid. So, not making this for other people you don't have to wear gloves and you don't have to measure so we're going to just put some aloe vera liquid in there okay now we have aloe vera liquid in there with our shea butter now i would like to show you guys something special thanks bro <laughs> i would like to show you guys something special so this oil that i'm using is now we have to add our, our third ingredient. This oil. Can you guys see that? 
This is infused avocado oil. We have our little dripper thing right here. We open this. Now this oil has been marinating for about oh my goodness. Oh my god, the aroma is so satisfying. <laughs> no. <laughs> and we want to put that oil right in there. Now I've infused this avocado oil with star anise, basil, rosemary, sumac powder, stinging nettle. And other mysterious botanicals that I found in my garden. <laughs> so we put our oil in there. Now, hey, I'm going to put a little bit more. A few little drops. Okay. Okay. Now, we put this avocado oil mix to the side. Now, we have avocado oil, organic shea butter, and aloe vera gel. Now what do we need to do? Now you need one of these. Because now you have to whip this up. I'm going to show you guys. Let's put this over here out the way. Okay. Okay. So this looks, this looks a little crazy in the beginning, but once we start pushing it through, it'll get souffle and start mixing with our other ingredients very well. Okay, as you see, it's mixing up very well. So I have to sit here and do this for a little while. Oh my God, this stuff is... This stuff is already whipping up so well. Hey, Takesha, what's going on? I'm sorry, so let me show you what's going on. Today we're making our own DUI, DIY moisturizing cream for the winter. We have infused, we have infused avocado oil with natural herbs and botanicals. We have aloe vera gel, which is great for the skin. And we also have a uh, Shea butter. So shea butter was our base. Hair and skin. Yes, you can use this on anything. No, this isn't for your hair. This is for your face. This is this is like literally for your face. This is for your ankles. In those in those ashy knees. In the back of the heels. I think my bow's too big. <laughs> Oh my god, this is... Now, I didn't add fragrance to this. I like it to smell natural. Hi, Jocelyn. Hey, Diana. Hi, Taisha. Thanks for joining me today. <laughs> Okay. Okay, first. Now we're gonna get all this together. Now we have this much. 
Then we just take our jar. Oh my god, that smells so good. I added some fragrance to that. Then we put this in our jar. Can I hug and kiss? Sure, but you see I'm busy, right? Yeah. So now wouldn't be a good time, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> so if you want to help me, then you can be... So we just put this in our jar. And voila. I'll help you. Okay, so now we have my beautiful assistant, Nyla May. Hi. Let me. Let's set you up right here. Okay, let's put this up the way. Okay. Hi, guys. Hi. So now we're going to take this. Hi, guys. <laughs> wow, touch it. Tell me how I feel. Soft it's, and mushy like jello. It's like jello? Mm hmm. I'm going to put it in my hair. Wow. Hi. So let's rub this on your legs. Put some on my <laughs> Where I you got some on your side the side of your nose. <laughs> I like the uh. Oh Guys, did you see that? <laughs> Just ow. Ah. Hey. Wow. You're going to be so soft. Dad, well, you are already. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, okay. Good. There you go. You're all moisturized. Mm. You put that on after you get out the tub. Yeah. And that avocado oil. See, avocado oil is very rich in omega-3 fatty acids. You can put it in your hair, baby. It's good for you. Um, it's good for adding moisture to your skin and your hair. Um, I actually use it in my sealant foil formulation. Um, but the thing about the whole Johnson and Johnson's thing is that uh, they knew that the ingredients that they were using were bad. Um, and they didn't make an attempt to change that until it was brought to the light. Um, I was made aware of it when I had kids. I wanted my kids to, well, we all want our kids to have the best. So, in that, I researched the products that I was using on them, and that's where I learned. And also, in my studies and curriculum at the Ohio State College of Barbers, in um, Ohio State College of Barbers style down in Columbus, Ohio, um, where I studied for my barber license, is where I learned initially that products were being used um, that were not safe for us. And that's when I vowed to begin to create my own products. I also vowed not to use relaxers or any process that was uh, compromising to the health of my clients or their hair. So um, this is very important for me. Um, when you're dealing with people you love... Hey, hey, Aisha. When you're dealing with people you love, you want them to have the best. You want to do the best for them. Um, one of the first things that they told me when I got to barber school was, you don't want to do your family and friends. You don't want to take your family and friends. And I didn't understand that. My family and friends are the people who I want to service, who I, I love them. I want to make sure they have the best service possible. So um, as I continued in my studies, I realized why. They told me that because when you deal with your family and friends, they end up wanting to kill you because you've screwed them over royally. <laughs> so, yes, honey. I want to make my hair really, really soft. Put it on your um, put it on your braids gently, okay. and then get your work done, okay? Yeah. And then we gonna go um outside and play. Yeah. Okay. I'll play soccer ball. We can play soccer. Um, but yeah, that's what got me into finding healthier products for us. Um, but naturally we all know God made us herbivores. We're not carnivores. We were um, created and intended to live off the land. So the land is where we find our food, our health and our healing. Um, 
my dad a long time ago. I remember my dad having all these herbs in the cabinet, and me being bad, I would thought you just smoked them because that's the only thing I ever knew people did with herbs. So I would get like his golden seal and like this uh marjoram uh, herbs, and we would roll them in like a uh, newspaper or something and smoke them and like pass out. Well, clearly weed ain't the only only herb that you can smoke that has an effect on you. So. Um, I remember when I was a kid, my dad had all these herbs, and he would make teas out of them, and he would drink these teas, and they was horrible, like, oh my God, he didn't put sugar or nothing, and he didn't put anything in the tea. Hi, Tia. Hi, Sky. Hi, Jay. Moray. Hey, Chris. Hey, Lauren. Hey, Nisha. Hey, Maggie. What's up, girl? What's up, Sal? Hey, Veta. Hey, Tawana. Hi, Taisha. My bad, y'all. I'm, um, I'm just on here talking about, um, what got me into making natural products okay so when uh... just to catch all up obviously if i'm doing hair i want to provide the best service um... and if i'm providing the best service i want to provide that service to my friends and family and if i'm providing the service to my friends and family i want them to be happy okay so um... with that being said i wanted to use products that were healthy for my friends family and my um... you know my clients in study, doing research, um, maybe you know, maybe you don't know, but I attended the Ohio State College of Barbara Stalin, and under that curriculum is where I learned a lot of the bad stuff that the industry knows about, yet does anything to uh, fix. Um, but I love my people, so I didn't. I don't want to. I don't want to do something or provide a service that I have to feel bad about. I don't want to. I want to deal in the truth, okay? Because there is um, no opposition in the truth. Um, I try to <laughs> encourage my clients to live the best life. Who did your makeup? <laughs> wait, wait. So shea butter, aloe, and avocado oils. Yes, and my avocado oil is infused with uh, um, herbs and botanicals. Um, you can also use different oils. Um, I recommend you try different oils. Uh, I can't take you serious with that face. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm going to change my face. Um, I tried that too. Hey, 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 y'all, but who did your makeup? Can they get a shout, out? <laughs> shout out to Facebook for my makeup, you know. Oh, my God, look at that grill. Oh, my God, look at that grill. That's crazy. Consuela, Angel, Tanya, Jazz. Hey, y'all, how y'all doing? Thanks for checking me out on my Facebook Live. I'm just on here talking about natural products, um, why I got into making natural products. How I got into doing hair um, and all of that good stuff. So, what questions do y'all have? If y'all right now is the time, right now is the time. Get out my inbox, man. Get out my inbox. There's too many people in my inbox, so that I don't I don't answer nobody because it's just too much. So, this is a great opportunity for you to type your question and ask, and then I'll answer you now. And then if you want. To share that answer, here's a video to share. So that's easy. So y'all can't take me serious with this clown face? That's sad. Hey y'all. Oh man, what the? <laughs> what the? Why is all, why is these flowers all the faces? Can I get a regular face? Because 
This is a teaching session. Hey, Lisa. That looks like kind of dance out there. Hey, Miss McAllister. That looks like kind of dance out there. Hey, hey, Sean Mitchell. What's up? What's up, Hollywood Tyrone? Hey, Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so um, I just wanted to go live and share with y'all um, because of that Johnson & Johnson post earlier. I don't mess with Johnson & Johnson. Um, Jada is 12 years old. That's my oldest. And I haven't messed with Johnson & Johnson since her. That's when I learned about Johnson & Johnson that they were putting formaldehyde and they were putting um, dioxins in their products. Um so yeah, I learned about that over 10 years ago, but I've shared it with close people, people, my clients, people who have a baby. Yes, that's beauty behind me. She talk, she back there dancing. She's supposed to be writing her words so we can get done, so we can go on an adventure. But um, I don't share on this level because it's a little, why don't I share on this level? I used to, but I, I noticed that it was uh it wasn't appreciated. Um so I just stopped. And I help the people who want to be helped, who um don't mind reaching out, who are humble, who are I wanna work with people who like me. So Maggie. So my hair is in color and it's all natural. I just want some products that help. J and J is BS <laughs> Okay, so Maggie, it just depends on what you're looking to do with your hair because like um, I'm creating a daily moisturizer that you can spray on your hair, um, stimulate healthy hair growth from the follicles, um, moisturize and soften the cuticle layer um, to the cortex of the hair, and then um, a very light Argon gloss or gel just depends on what type of style you're wearing. Um, but there are natural products for everything you want to do. Okay, you just have to source them. Um, God made a, a solution for every problem, and they nine out of ten times they grow out the ground. <laughs> So, hey, Brianna, from Takesha. Hey, Takesha, I did a big chop in 2016. My roots are curly, but my ends are stringy. I still think through heat damage, maybe, should I re-chop it off? Takesha. Okay, so, you did a big chop in 2016, 2017, 2018. It's two years later. Your roots are curly because they're new. Your ends are approaching the end of their life, okay? The natural lifespan of the hair strand is four to seven years. So, in three years, um, you'll be reaching that with that goal. So, let me see. You, you did the big chop in 2016, so I'm sure you didn't go skin ball. So, I'm sure you had something left. <laughs> almost two years worth of hair right there um, so those ends you'll have to protect more okay so I hope to answer the question Maggie back to Maggie strengthen and moisture cuz you know I'm the Lone Star drying hot yes <laughs> so we want to use um, you can use different oils for treatments Rinse oil, rinse off treatments um, that will strengthen your hair strand. And then moisture, natural, the most natural form of moisture is water. So we want to use water, but we want to use softened water and, and demineralized water. Because hard water and mineralized water affects our hair in a hard way. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but so how do we use demineralized and softened water? Well, um, demineralization systems are very expensive um, so I tend to buy water um, to use in my spray bottles and for my daughter and for my clients I do 
Oh, thank you. You like my filter? I'm teaching. So this is my teaching filter. My curls. <laughs> These curls, man. They're a little wet. <laughs> I just slung water everywhere. So cut it. No, don't cut it. Don't cut it. Um, trimming the hair. We do that for a few reasons. Okay, so if the hair is damaged, it's splitting. If the hair is splitting, we want to maintenance that because splits can keep splitting. And we don't want your hair to keep splitting higher and higher. You'll need uh, to cut off more and more once you finally do. But that's splitting. Now, there's a difference between splitting and breakage. Okay? Breakage is dry, broke, dry, brittle, broke. Um, re versus splitting is soft moisturized and splitting it's still it's not hard so it's not breaking off and it's still hanging on um those are two different um issues now if it was splitting i would say cut it if it's naturally breaking and you're not wearing your hair in a straight style where it needs to look a certain kind of way <clears throat> i wouldn't i wouldn't trim it i would protect it i would I would do my best to moisturize, seal, and protect those ends for as long as possible. Keep my hair in a natural braided style and um, do that daily maintenance for as, for as long as possible. So, I have both. You have both what? Hey, Tamika. Hey, Larie. Hey, Penelope Mac. Um, you have both? I don't know. You lost me. But anywho. <laughs> I lost one. Anywho. When you going when you going to host classes. Once my product is once my product is out, um I'm still it's so much stuff going on um with homeschooling my daughter which I'm ready to put her in school because now that she's older she requires a lot more of attention a lot more often um, I before I could show her something we could do it for a little while then she could do it on her own for a while and I can get stuff done I notice as you women get older you acquire a lot more attention but at this point in my life I am uh, chasing my dreams that I put off five years ago to have her so um, I'm ready to get back full focus and full force at pursuing my purpose which is helping women achieve healthy hair so that's all that's my purpose is to help women achieve healthy hair um, <clears throat> fortunately and unfortunately Healthy hair comes from a healthy body. A healthy body comes from a healthy mind. And a healthy mind comes from a healthy spirit. Okay? Your spirit is your foundation. Without your spirit, you may lack the faith to believe that you can achieve healthy hair. Okay? So, there's more aspects to this than a lot of people know. But, that's why I'm here. And that's why God created me and gave me... Um, you know, this lane to minister from because there is people telling the truth about hair care products. Um, they basically sending you down a rabbit hole and using you for any lack of information that they can put on you just to get you for your money. Um, and I've never done this for money. I've always done this. Yes, I want to make a lot of money and be so successful and this and the third. But at the same time, I don't want to do my people wrong. I don't want to put styles in my people here that's going to tear their edges up or dry their ends out or affect their situation. And then ultimately they have a worse life because of a service that I provided. Hair is my ministry. Yes, Penelope Mack. You are absolutely right. Um, hair is the platform that I use to show compassion. 
to show love, to show charity. Like the Bible says, charity starts at home. So um, at home here, we, I have to learn how to and teach, be an example of loving myself for who I am. And um, that will reflect in my children. So, <laughs> hey, I'm not even trying to preach, Penelope. This is just me. <laughs> I'm not even trying to preach, but this is just me. Um, I like being real. I like talking about the stuff that's real that's going to make a difference. So, and a lot of people don't can't handle the truth. So, they don't mess with me because that's what I'm on. And that's cool. I ain't mad. I, the people who mean the most to me are here with me. So, what up? What up, Dante? My dude, Tay in the building. Hey, Valerie. Hey, Marquita. I'm just on here talking about healthy products, um, healthy habits, um, all types of good stuff that I've been dealing with, me personally. Hey Aisha, how are you? So, uh, I gotta go. I got a client coming in about five minutes. What time is it? It's one forty-seven. No, I should be here at two o'clock. Um, but I just wanted to get on here and share with y'all. I'm. I didn't make that post to just bash Johnson and Johnson. Um, I made the post because. I believe in something different and I'm not scared to stand on what I believe. Um, so with that being said, go natural. Create your own stuff. Figure out how to do it. Um, it's a lot of avenues to learn out here. I just showed y'all a real simple, quick way to add vitamins and minerals to your skin um, to maintain a natural moisture balance. I just sat here and did that. So if you don't take that information, that knowledge, and use it, then that'll be your lack of wisdom. Okay? Till we meet again, Johnny Hair God, signing out. I used to be in the Navy. That's why I always salute when it's the end, but I'm just going to do this from now on. Peace. Peace, love, and hair grease. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you, Cassie. Love you, hon. Y'all be good.